Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a pretty quick review on these new Wet n Wild products that I found in Walgreens. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contour and the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Highlight Illuminator. I wanted to try these on camera for you guys and see how they performed. So obviously they come in these little like round containers like this, which are super cute. I love the packaging on this. It does come with seven grams of product. This one is Cafe Au Soleil and then this one is who's that pearl I was really intrigued to see how these work because I really haven't seen any cushion contour or highlighters I've seen the cushion foundations but not any contour or highlighters they come in these little pots like this and the front of it is really cute it has like this doll like cartoon here and it says the wet n wild mega cushion here contour and the wet n wild mega cushion highlight illuminator I'm gonna open them up and show you how they look inside I think it resembles like a cushion foundation but I'm just gonna open this up for you guys so this is basically how it looks it does come with this little sponge here and it says wet and wild all you need to do is pull this plate back here and it's going to show you the product I haven't tried this before like I said this is brand new to me so I think the best way to apply this is definitely not with this sponge they offer I feel like I want to do some nice contouring so this definitely won't work so I picked up my elf stippling brush and we're gonna see how it works from there I just put a little bit of it on my finger so you guys could see it's a little bit orangey so I'm a little nervous about that but um, we're gonna go in and see how it performs so I'm just gonna dip my brush in here and then I'm just going to start chiseling my cheeks so guys I just started with the stippling brush and I started swiping first and then I started patting and I noticed I kind of brought it down a little too low with that but I wanted to keep going just to see how the product performed. I really honestly love the texture of it. It just goes on so smoothly and you guys are going to see that eventually I'm going to pick up the beauty blender and start blending it in. I felt like with the beauty blender it just pushed the product into the skin opposed to using using that stippling brush. I felt like the stippling brush wasn't too bad with applying the product but then I still went in and wanted to go in with that beauty blender and push the product into my skin. I am so impressed with this. I love this product. I didn't think it was going to look this good or blend so easily but it did. It blended out really nicely. Um, What I will say is a little goes a long way. I think I dipped the brush in a lot at first but um, you know, obviously this is the first time I'm using it. So now I'm just going down my nose as well and um, just contouring that nose. And then I just want to clean it up a little bit um, with my air spun powder. As you guys can see, I feel like I went down a little bit too low on my cheek area. Um, I feel like I did put a little bit too much on and I'm trying to kind of like blend it out. But I like the color. I feel like it's a nice warm color and it's not orangey at all. So that's what I was kind of afraid of. I was afraid that it would be a little bit more on the orangey side, but it's not. It's really nice and warm. So now I'm going to go in with the highlighter and this is the mega cushion highlight illuminator and this is in who's that pearl and i'm going to take a little beauty blender this time and use the mini micro beauty blender for it because i feel like the beauty blender worked a little bit better than the stippling brush it was a little weird kind of doing it with the stippling brush i feel like that's why i came down way too low and it looks a little bit kind of muddy but once i blend it in with the beauty blender it looks better this is basically the same concept. I might be able to use the sponge for the highlight. If that doesn't work, I'm going to use this little micro mini beauty blender. This is how the product looks, so I'm just going to dip this here and just going to pat it right around the face where I normally do my highlight. And I think I did a little too much. See, I feel like it's really easy to grab a lot of the product. I think that was my problem with the um, contour. I think I grabbed too much product at first. So that's really pretty as you guys can see. It's a really nice highlight. It's like kind of a pinky, almost like champagne-y color. And I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit more with that Beauty Blender. So now just taking it a little bit down my nose. Oh, see?
So here I'm just bringing you guys in just a little closer so you can see the highlight and the contour together. And like I said, I am truly impressed and I love it. So guys, I really honestly like these products and I'm not going to take them back. Usually when I don't like something from the drugstore, I will return it, but I think I'm going to use this. Now I did go a little ham with the contour at first. I feel like you have to dip just a little bit. You don't have to go crazy because it does give off a lot of product. So I think that was the only problem with me, but the highlight, the highlight is so pretty. I haven't even set it with a powder highlight. I just let it sit there for a second and I just put a little bit of blush on but I will tell you guys that I am impressed with these products wet n wild always does a great job I'm hoping they come out with a few more color selections so that different skin tones can wear them because I feel like for the drugstore this is a great product and they were $5.99 each you can't beat that for a highlight and a contour in comparison to like high-end brands I think this really does look good and I'm really impressed so guys I hope you enjoyed this video I told you guys it was not gonna be that long please don't don't forget to give me a thumbs up for more drugstore product reviews I'm gonna be doing a lot more of them on my channel and I'm starting a new series on my channel and it's called foundation Friday so every Friday you guys will get a new video on a foundation that I have tested out and you guys know that I usually take you guys along with me for the day when I do foundation reviews so this Friday it's going to be a review on the Maybelline dream cushion foundation so if you guys have any foundations that you want me to review just let let me know so I'm definitely looking on suggestions for foundations that you guys want me to review they can be drugstore they can be high-end but just leave it in the comments below and I will definitely take them into consideration because I want to do as many of them as possible I'm not sure how long the series is gonna go on for but I really wanted to start this on my channel so don't forget to come back here on Friday uh, for foundation Friday on the review of this Maybelline dream cushion foundation as always thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video bye guys